while you were asleep. This singer conquered the world. And now it's time to find out why you should care. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we'll be counting down our picks for the top five reasons you should know who Jordan Fisher is. My name is Jordan Fisher and I play the character Matthew. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll explain why Jordan Fisher is one up-and-comer you'd be wise to keep an eye on. You know, my happily ever after is being able to do what I love every day of my life. This is part of my happily ever after, being a part of this. Number 5. Ariana Grande thinks he's the best. This is Jordan Fisher. That might be Jordan. Oh, that's my favorite vocalist is in the room right now. Hi, Jordan, come here, come here. <laughs> if this entry's title isn't enough to convince you that Jordan Fisher is the man, you may as well stop watching now. International pop sensation Ariana Grande doesn't just call any old singer her favorite vocalist, a title she bestowed to Jordan Fisher during a 2016 interview. She continued gushing over Fisher's musical ability for a solid minute. I was like going to sleep and I heard his voice and I was like, what the hell is that? Turn the volume up and I was like, help me. We just watched wow. somebody's oh ego God. grow in I don't person. Even... We just watched it. Dropping words like obsessed, special and magical, and even comparing him to Whitney Houston, Fisher was quick to return the favor. And if we didn't know better, we'd think that the two were dating. When they get together, it's basically a meeting of the Mutual Admiration Society. Can you be like, hey, you know, I would love to do a song with you? Don't do that. Or, well, I mean, can you do that? Yeah, you can. Did you? I mean, maybe. I mean, number four, he has a bright musical career ahead of him. No, it's not about us. This is all about us. This is all about us. So why? Ariana Grande isn't the only one who's noticed Jordan Fisher's insane musical ability. He signed a record deal in 2015 and released his self-titled EP a year later. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. His singles All About Us and Lookin' Like That both cracked the US Pop Top 40 chart. And he's performed alongside some of music's biggest names in Dove Cameron and Lin-Manuel Miranda. The latter duet was featured in the end credits of Disney's 2016 smash hit Moana. Top 40 hits and a place on one of the year's best soundtracks, Jordan Fisher is trending up in a big way. Number 3. He was in the Broadway sensation Hamilton. Um, and now you're in Hamilton, yeah. so you are sort of balancing a lot of the, 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 you're in this thing. It is, man. And, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy can act too? That's right. Jordan Fisher isn't just a musical virtuoso. He's also a very talented thespian. He made his Broadway debut in 2016 playing both John Lawrence and Philip Hamilton in the critically acclaimed play Hamilton. Of course, he didn't just pick up acting out of nowhere. Fisher made his theater debut in a fifth grade production of Schoolhouse Rock Live Jr. He later joined the Red Mountain Theater Company in Birmingham, Alabama, where over the years he performed in numerous plays. It was during this time with the company that he was spotted by a talent scout. And the rest, as they say, is history. And after that, it's just kind of been like, hey, I, you know, I want you to be a part of my things. And I'm like, uh, anytime. Number two, he's currently owning Dancing with the Stars. That was exquisitely yeah. flawless. You dance. Earlier in 2017, it was announced that Jordan Fisher would compete on the 25th season of Dancing with the Stars as a celebrity, teaming up with pro dancer Lindsay Arnold. And of course, he's been killing it on the dance floor. So yeah, in addition to being an incredible singer and actor, the Alabama native can also bust a move when required. Talk about the whole package. It would appear that it's only a matter of time before this multi-talented entertainer comes out with his own one-man show. Bruno Tonio. the first tens of the season. Number one, he's guested on a ton of your favorite shows. You put that thing away. <laughs> hey, I've been practicing. Look, if I get good enough, maybe Vince Fontaine will put me on national bandstand or something. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Just check this out. At this point, you're probably screaming, enough, we get it. Jordan Fisher is an out of this world singer, dancer, and actor. What else could you possibly say that would impress us? Well, how about the fact that he played duty in the television special Grease Live? and sang one of the show's most memorable songs. The music I wanna hear is once again, you whisper in my ear. Not good enough. 
Well, maybe you'd like to hear about his stints on iCarly, the secret life of the American teenager, or his hilarious recurring role as Holden on the Disney Channel's Liv and Maddie. This guy is essentially a human Swiss army knife. And if you didn't know him before, you certainly do now. In your face? <laughs> you mean my super talented face. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.